All right, thanks for watching. And here's a pretty insane double integral that will turn out to be very neat. So let I be the double integral of ln of 1 plus 2 to the x plus 2 to the y over 2 to the x plus y times 2 to the x plus 2 to the y. And what we'll do first is do something even more insane. We will convert this into a triple integral. I know, because we are crazy like that. Because this is the same as a double integral of ln of 1 plus 1 times 2 to the x plus 2 to the y. And then minus ln of 1 plus 0 times 2 to the x plus 2 to the y over this whole thing, 2 to the x plus y times 2 to the x plus 2 to the y, dx dy. Because it turns out this looks almost like a derivative because that's the same thing as the double integral of the integral from 0 to 1 of d over dz of ln of 1 plus z times 2 to the x plus 2 to the y over 2 to the x plus y and then 2 to the x plus 2 to the y and then dz dx and the reason we do this is this derivative is nice because it cancels out this 2 to the x plus 2 to the y. So really, that's the same thing as an integral from 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity, 0 to 1, of um, 1 over 1 plus z times 2 to the x plus 2 to the y, and then times 2 to the x plus 2 to the y by the chain rule, over 2 to the x plus y times 2 to the x plus 2 to the y and then dz makes you very dizzy dx dy and then as i said the, that nasty term here cancels out so really at the end what you're left with is this triple integral and i we need this a little bit i put dz here and now we want to make this even more complicated by using a little use of, I know, so this problem gets insane, insane, insane until you see in the end, it just magically simplifies. So what we want to do is you want to use u equals 2 to the x and v is 2 to the y. So technically here we have to use the Jacobian, but since we are really two separate things, something with x and something with y, we can just do it directly. So du dv in this case is ln of 2 times 2 to the x times ln of 2 times 2 to the y dx dy. And so which is really ln of 2 squared and then times u v dx dy. And so dx dy. is 1 over ln of 2 squared and then 1 over uv uv which again you can also do by using all the partial derivatives and then once you do that the integral simplifies tremendously so just beware so if x is from 0 to infinity u will be from 1 to infinity and then we just end up getting the following so then the integral transforms into the following. So let me re-explain all those terms. So the new bounds 1 to infinity is used by applying 2 to the x to 0 comma infinity. So it comes from 2 to the 0 to 2 to the infinity. And then we have one contribution of uv by using 2 to the x plus y. So 2 to the x times 2 to the y, which is uv and then another contribution of uv by using the Jacobian, by using the um, du dv, which is you know, u times v dx dy. And we have this ln of 2 squared, again, from the Jacobian. 
And now, we want to be even crazier. We want to use another U substitution. Because you have this 1 over U and 1 over V, it makes sense to use X is 1 over U and V and Y is 1 over V. Then you can do the Jacobian again. So dx dy, in this case, it's minus 1 over u squared times 1 minus 1 over v squared, uh, du dv. And then this becomes, if you wish, 1 over u squared times 1 over v squared, du dv, which then becomes x squared y squared, du dv. And then in the end, what we get is du dv is in fact 1 over x squared y squared dx dy. And then in that case, our integral transforms into the following. Okay, so then we have that our integral is 1 over ln of 2 squared. That thing stays the same. Integral from 0 to 1. Now, our new bounds are from 0 to 1 because we use 1 over x and 1 over y. So we have dx dy dz. Now, it is x squared over y squared. So it came from using both the Jacob that came from using the Jacobian. This 1 over x squared and 1 over y squared, that came from u squared v squared. And then finally, u, this came from u plus v. And the cool thing is we can simplify this. So this becomes 1 over ln of 2 squared integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1, dx dy dz. And then 1 plus, if you want, z over x, because this all cancels out, right? And then 1 plus z over x plus z over y. And now we can make this even more symmetric by multiplying top and bottom by x, y. And then what we get is our integral is 1 over ln of 2 squared integral over that box of x, y. And then we get something beautifully symmetric. So x, y plus z, y plus z, x dx, dy, dz. And it turns out it's this symmetry that can really help us because now, I mean, this, this x, y, and z are pretty arbitrary. So it turns out we can write our integral in three ways that can help us solve it. Because if you want, you can use a u substitution or just rename all the variables because the integral is the same as the integral xz over the numerator, denominator, yz over the denominator, and then xz over the denominator. And the cool thing is, if you sum everything up, then you get 3i, which is 1 over ln of 2 squared, that triple integral. And then of what? xy plus zy plus xz over the denominator. So xy plus zy plus xz over xy plus zy plus xz dx dy dz. But now I hope you don't get too dizzy because now all this cancels out and you get the triple integral of 1 which in this case is 1. So in the end, our integral simplifies to the following. So 3i is 1 over ln of 2 squared times 1. And so in the end, just solving for i, you get i, so our original integral is 1 over 3 ln of 2 squared. Whoa! I mean, how cool is that? We started with a double integral, which we made worse by using a triple integral. We used two different insane u-subs, but then in the end, we get this nice symmetry in that final answer. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.